Hello, Masoka Universe, for another FCON update. Um, today, that was the day that I was not uh, able to watch uh, all of the games because there were just two finals that were more important to me, and in between, you know, I can't watch. <laughs> I could probably, but I don't want to watch seven hours of soccer straight. That just makes me crazy. So I saw the decisive. Um, end of the Madagascar DRC matchup and I saw very little of the first half of Algeria versus Guinea. Uh, but you know, I saw all the highlights, I saw all the goals, so that's what I'm gonna get to you. And we'll start already with the last game I think that will be played in Alexandria at this AFCON between Madagascar and the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, uh, where, of course, the big question is, will the uh, miracle journey of Madagascar continue? And it looked very early that it will be, especially when with the wonderful goal that Amada was scoring in the ninth minute. I mean, he just one time said into the net, a really, really nice goal, uh, where Madagascar had some control of the game. It was only with the first... Um, attack of the DRC when Beko makes a really long run down the sideline, um, cross in and Bakambu can uh, hand it in. was uh, very nicely played, I have to say as well. Not as nice as the Amadar goal. Then chances on both sides, especially at the beginning of the first half, Madagascar was a little bit more dominant, then it was uh, the DRC that got dom dominant, and then the uh, game went a little bit into stalemate, uh, when another run by, I think it was Romain Metanier, um, down the right side, has a lot of time, runs, 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 um, puts a cross in, and Andrea Zima has actually a little problem heading it into the net in the 77th minute. 2 on Madagascar. It was time for the DRC to get something going, or will the president, who was already for Madagascar, already uh, celebrating, will he be the talisman that Madagascar moves on? Not quite yet. Corner kick and Mbemba in the 90th minute heads it uh, home 2-2. It goes to overtime, where uh, both teams had chances. One, um, Adrian really saved a nice uh, ball from, I think it was again Mbemba. And, but yeah, it was more or less headed for penalties. And in penalties, Madagascar was really, really good at it. Amada, who made the wonderful first goal, converts. Tissaram steps up for the DRC, puts it over the bar. Then Metanier 2-1, uh, Bakambo 2-0 uh, two, uh, two to Bakambo 2-1, Fontaine 3-1, Mboku 3-2, Montbris converts and all of those Madagascan uh, penalties were really well taken with uh, barely a chance to save for Matampi. So then Bolasi uh, Steps up to the point and he does the same as Tissaro, puts it over the bar and Madagascar moves on to the next round. Uh, the other matchup yet, um, was between Algeria and Guinea, which, you know, I'm wearing Algeria, so it's pretty clear that uh, who's won. It was another uh, show of uh, force for uh, Algeria who controlled the game and scored really a few beautiful goals. The first one was personally my favorite, where um, Belaili uh, run, runs in the box with, on a 1-2 with uh, Buneja, who back heals it back to Belaili, who can put it into the net, makes it uh, a 1-0. At that point, I should also mention the jersey matchup, which, you know, I really love Guinea with red, yellow, green. This is just a wonderful one. It's just, why do they have white on the jersey? And as I said, the Algeria jersey is growing on me. Um, fully in control. Algeria uh, underlining that they will be uh, considered favorites. Mares with a nice shot. You know, he gets the ball 
at the edge of the box, can put it on his strong uh, left, puts it in the, uh, home in the 57th. Should have probably had a second one a little bit later, but the third goal comes then through Unas, also nicely played, well worth uh, watching. Algeria, if you would have to ask me of all the teams that I've seen so far, Algeria seems to be the one that is um, most impressive and they look good going forward. So yeah, Algeria will play the winner of the other matchup, which is uh, between uh, Ghana and Tunisia. So that also will be an interesting one. We already know that this uh, the lower tree, uh, despite Egypt not being out, is still uh, a little bit the heavier one. I mean, on the up we have Senegal, Benin, Madagascar against the win of Ghana, Tunisia. Uh, I would expect Ghana, but you know, Tunisia may have to wake up. Still, both of these are not necessarily super favorites. Uh, whereas Algeria, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, one of those two, they're not that bad either. So, but Algeria is really a strong team and then uh, would play against Nigeria. So, yeah, but with Egypt and Cameroon out, especially with Egypt out and also uh, Morocco out, it seems a whole lot more open than it seemed at the, a few days ago. Definitely will be interesting and we had a few upsets and Madagascar is definitely the biggest one of them. Tomorrow we have those two other matchups uh, that I was talk talking about. Um, we have first uh, Mali against the Cote d'Ivoire and then the later game is between Ghana and Tunisia and we will see. I know the two shirts back there will move back because two teams that I have shirts of will be eliminated. I thought it will be four. Thank you, South Africa, once again. A uh, quick note on the win of South Africa over Egypt. In Egypt, of course, Aguirre got sacked, and then the whole board of the Egyptian FA stepped down. Um, not entirely unexpected, but I sometimes wish that uh, cooler heads would prevail, that you give your coach a little bit more time, or that you make an analysis before you make such a decision, uh, not have this shotgun reaction, but hey. That's Africa, we know it's happening a lot there. But maybe there will also be a change of heart. So. Anyway, let me know what you thought about today's games, uh, especially fill me in, um, as I haven't seen much of these. I enjoyed the penalty shooter though. Uh, so drop me a line below, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.